Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Jeff Mom Plumbing. Today I got a pretty quick one for you. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how we set up to do a pressure test for our plumbing inspectors. In houses, when we replace over 60% of the waste piping, we do have to fill the system up um, more than just, you know, running some water down the drains. We do have to do a full pressure test. So um, what you see me do here is I'm going to be putting in some test balls. What they are is essentially that is like a rubber balloon. So I'm going to take out the clean out plug on this stack and I'm going to put this test ball inside of it and uh, we will pump it up and that way no water can get by and drain down until we release it. You always want to throw a little Teflon tape and pipe dope just to help seal. You are going to have a lot more head pressure coming down on the test ball than you normally would within the plumbing system as far as when you just, you know, flush a toilet or, you know, run a sink and water go down the drain. So really want to make sure we don't have leaks. Uh, you know, our inspector does not want to see our test balls leaking. We'll go ahead and speed this part up, but all you really want to do is grab some channel locks and tighten it in there. Remember, you are tightening it into a plastic PVC fitting, so if you over tighten it, you can definitely crack and break the fitting, and that is no good for anybody. Next, you got to get the pump up there. There's a little nipple for you to hook it onto. And I can't remember off the top of my head, I believe we feel these to roughly about 40 pounds of pressure. Um, it does say on the test balls themselves what to fill it up to. You do it too much, it is a balloon essentially, and it can go boom, so do be careful. So that's all there really is to that one. Now we're moving over to the second stack here. We want to do the same exact thing. So I'm going to take out the clean out that we put in and replace it with the test ball. Take some time here to admire that clean plumbing work. Brand new copper ran, washer box, all this PVC is brand new. So same thing applies as the last one, we're going to throw this bad boy into overdrive and get it tightened in, blown up, and then we'll show you guys the next step of the process. You guys are wondering why I don't have any of the job site noise uh, playing in the background here. The reason being is we're working with the electricians and they're doing what electricians do. They're listening to My Little Pony and all that good stuff, Hello Barbie, and I just didn't want to have to put you guys through that. So that is why it is kind of quiet. Here you're looking at our homemade contraption um, that allows us to hook a washer hose from the washer box up to this drain um, and we're able to control it with a valve so just got to band this on to the I believe this is going to be a laundry sink down here so just hooking it onto the laundry sink drain and that's where we are gonna fill the entire PVC waste system through Here in a second, I'm gonna go ahead and show you one last part that we had to disconnect of this drain um, just to stop it from draining since this sink does drain out underneath that most recent clean out you saw. We did have to disconnect it so that we can fill the system through this. Right here is what I'm talking about. There's a rubber cap on each end and there will be a PVC 45 degree fitting going in there. Um, but as you can see, like I said, that's the clean out right there, that big fitting that we just passed on the screen, and uh, the sink drains out below it. So, you know, no water would be holding. So we had to make sure to cap it off and we're gonna fill it up through the sink and that's vent. With this setup, it's pretty efficient. Now, whenever you're ready to fill it up, uh, you can just turn on the washer box and make sure the valve is open on the sink drain side and you're good to go. So um, what I'm showing here, these are the upstairs bathrooms. They're back to back. 
basically just putting a rubber cap over all the new sink drains. We do have glue caps on there as you saw already, but we just don't trust that to hold necessarily. Um, they're not meant for the pressure. They're just like kind of a temporary cap until finish time and we cut them off. Um, so we always throw these rubber Fernco caps over and give them a good snug just to make sure that nothing blows off and you know, we don't want to flood the place when we're filling the system. So just kind of showing you all the drains. we got the same thing going. Last step of the process, of course, would just be filling, filling it up with water and uh, letting the inspector check it out. But yeah, that's all there is to it. So thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, if you don't already, follow us on TikTok. Go check us out over there at Jeff Mum Plumbing. And on that, guys, we will see you on the next one. Have a good day.